Welcome back everyone. You may be trying to actually go ahead and recover some stuff with your iPhone and in this video I'll go ahead and explain how to recover deleted iPhone photos, deleted iPhone texts, and even some deleted apps that are on the App Store or maybe that aren't on the App Store anymore and maybe you want to get them back on your device. So first of all I'm going to go ahead and hit on how to recover your photos just in case you accidentally deleted them or whatever the case is. So first of all what you want to do is if you just recently deleted the photos in your photos gallery app aka these photos right here well there's actually a you know recently deleted tab within your photos app so you can actually probably still recover them so what you want to do is you want to hit on your little albums toggle right here you'll come into here then you want to go ahead and scroll down until you see recently deleted so it's the very last tab right here then what you want to do is you want to click over here and you'll basically see all the photos that are recently deleted. Now hopefully you didn't delete them from here. If you did, there's still a couple different ways we can go and get them back. But this is the very first place I would go ahead and check through. Typically your apps or your photos will be here. If they're not, then I'll go show you the second method in like two seconds. But this is typically where I would start off with. Now if they're not here, the next thing I would actually recommend doing is probably see if you have an iCloud backup or a you know, manual backup on your computer available. Whenever you have a backup available, such as you know an iOS backup or an iPad backup, all your stuff gets backed up. You know, your photos, your apps, every single thing. So if you want, I would recommend going through and seeing if you have an iCloud backup available. You can go ahead and check if there's actually an iCloud backup available by going into your settings. You want to click on your name up here. You want to click on iCloud and you should see some little backup option. If you don't see iCloud backup enabled, what you can do is click manage storage right here and you'll come into a little tab that'll actually show you how much stuff is available and you'll see this little backups option. You can go and click here and you'll basically see that there is a backup available. I don't know how much storage is on there specifically for this device, but you can see it's 1.2 gigabytes and as long as you didn't do another backup after this backup then you could restore from this specific backup and then actually recover some if not all of those photos that you just deleted so that's probably the very next thing i would recommend doing is actually going through and verifying all of this stuff now if for some reason you don't want to go through this or maybe you don't have a backup available another thing that i always tell people is that if you go through your text messages you know even some other apps, maybe WhatsApp or whatever, you would be surprised how much stuff you actually sent or maybe even been sent from these apps and how many of your photos are actually allocated in these messages. So I would recommend doing is actually going through all your group chats and all your messages and then actually clicking on your little I, your little info button up top, and then you'll be able to actually go ahead and see all the images and everything that was sent between you and that person. If there's a group chat as well, you can do it there too. And you can recover a lot of different photos and stuff that way. I've done this a lot lot sometimes even through snapchat other apps you know like whatsapp and instagram and go through those dms and try to download or re-download as many images as you can now the final thing is pretty much if you have a specific app like google photos and this app is used to be one of my favorite right now google is going through through some changes so it doesn't look like they're going to offer free i don't even know where the app is anymore but apps like google photos apps like dropbox or any other apps that you know you can back up your data to that is another really awesome place you can go ahead and recover a lot of your data from as well so that's pretty much the main ways that i would go ahead and recommending to actually recover most if not all of your photos that were deleted from your device now the next thing i'm going to go ahead and show you is exactly how to recover your text messages if they were deleted from your iphone aka your iMessages and all that other stuff now the main way that i would recommend doing this is pretty much as stated before is checking if you have an icloud backup available so this basically means like i said before if you backed up all your data you'll be able to recover most of it from an icloud or manual backup so i would recommend going into computer seeing if there's a backup you know that you did a while ago maybe you remember doing one you can recover a lot of text that way if not what you can do is Actually, what I would recommend doing is, okay, go into your settings app just like this. You want to go into your iCloud options right here, and then you want to go ahead and click on your little iCloud button right here. And then you want to click manage storage and you want to see first of all if this message option is available and you can also see it right here and i never text from this device but typically if you do you'll see this thing being a much higher number but what you want to do is you want to make sure your messages are actually backed up if they are backed up here then you're pretty much set you can actually recover a lot of these messages straight from restoring from a backup 
So there's a lot of other tutorials out there. I think I've already done like three of them, how to restore from a backup. It is a little bit of a process, but that's one way you can actually do it is to recover them and restore them straight from your messages from an iCloud backup. Now, if for some reason you don't have a backup available and it doesn't seem like you can recover your messages that way, well, the next thing I would recommend doing is actually seeing if you're actually able to have any other device that was hooked up with your iCloud account. So if you have this little messages toggle enabled right here, then that means that you know your messages are stored up in the iCloud. So what I would recommend doing is actually going to a different device. You know, let's say you have an iPad or an Apple Watch even, or a MacBook that has iMessages enabled on any of those devices. What I would recommend doing is going and putting those devices on airplane mode as soon as you get them available in your hands. So swipe down over here, put it on airplane mode if you have an iPad, even an Apple Watch, put it on airplane mode, a MacBook, and you want to open up the messages app. Typically, these things will still open, and you'll see that you'll have all your messages available within the app in and of itself. Now, you're on airplane mode, so as soon as you get off airplane mode, those messages are not going to be there. So what you can do is actually send yourself or airdrop yourself those messages straight from that other device. I've heard people do this before. Again, it's a kind of a hit or miss whether you have another device that had your messages on it or not. Even if you have an older iPhone, you will be able to do this as well. And you can airdrop yourself those messages from your other device. So that's the very next thing you can do, and I would highly recommend you to do that. It's a very easy thing to do. The main ways to do this are either recover them straight from a restore of the backup or send them to yourself from an older device that you had those messages from. So that's exactly the main ways how to recover your text messages on your iPhone. Now, finally, let's say you want to restore or download an app from the App Store that's actually been deleted from the App Store, and maybe you deleted it from your device as well. Now, apps like Fortnite, this is not going to be able to be possible, but for the most part, let's say you downloaded you know, some random app like Wikipedia or whatever, and maybe it's not available to be downloaded from the App Store anymore. Well, there's still a way to actually go ahead and get it, even if it's deleted from the App Store, even if it's deleted from your device. As long as you had downloaded it at some point in the past, you will be able to recover this. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead, be connected to Wi-Fi and all that stuff. You want to open up your app store just like so. And then what you want to do is you want to click on your name that's right up here. So it's a little, a little like a profile icon, whatever it is. And then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click purchased, which is right here. And here you want to click on my purchases. I guess they changed it up and you will be able to see all of the apps that you went ahead and actually downloaded. So it looks like GBA Emu is actually available now, which is kind of funny, but this is an app that's actually not available anymore. So if I go ahead and click out of here and I go ahead and click search, well, if I search for GBA Emu, you'll be actually be able to see that it's not available. There's some other apps that are kind of like it, but that specific app is not available. That one looked kind of like it. But if I hop out of here, you'll see that I'm still able to download it from that little place that we were just at. So I click here, I click purchased, I click my purchases, and you can see I still have that app right here. So that's a perfect example of an app that's deleted from the app store and it's deleted from my phone. I don't know, oh, I still have it here, but you can go ahead and restore it from your device straight from this little panel. So as long as you had downloaded from the past, then you'll be perfectly set. And you can do the exact same thing for all of these other apps as well. As you can see, there's some I have downloaded, there's some that I haven't downloaded, and you can see there's a little tab over there that says not on this iPhone. And you can go and go through and download all of these apps that may have been deleted from the app store, but are still available for you to download because you had downloaded them in the past. So that's exactly how to do it. Some of my favorite things to do on an iPhone, recovering a lot of miss, you know, maybe deleted data or, you know, deleted text messages. There's still a lot of things you can do to recover those specific things. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So me so much if you guys get hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly, there everything also, every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.